What's up, friends? This is Jazz, bringing you another My Opinion. Sorry if the lighting is a little off. This might be a shorter My Opinion. It might be a big line. It might be longer. I don't know, but I'm just getting it off my chest. It isn't going to be as well researched or well thought out. It's about what you... I know I've did YouTube videos before, but this is kind of different. It's about how a lot of companies have been withdrawing their ads from YouTube because of some inappropriate videos all along the web and they are afraid to represent their brand in something like that if it goes on one of those videos they don't want to incorporate themselves with that type of product or that type of content well I do have mixed feelings on it like I see where they're coming from but really there's no control really what ads go where that I know of and it's so worrying that maybe because of this YouTube may not be around for much longer I don't know I mean this this YouTube could be around for another 10 years all I know but a lot of people speculate that they get they get money through the ad branding as well it's not just us youtubers that get money if we do get money it is YouTube that's how they kind of stay relevant or stay active and I have a lot of mixed feelings on this personally for me right now this is well to me this YouTube is more than a hobby but it isn't a job like I find YouTube me in a way my memories are on YouTube my vlogs the videos I made playing the games everything is on YouTube you know right now I could care less about earning money what I care about is that if I'm never able to see any of my videos again because if it, they all go down with YouTube and it could happen any time it could be 10 years it could be two weeks or less well maybe not less we probably get a bit noticed a bit of notice but like it what are my thoughts on people removing their support well I sort of can understand them not wanting to tarnish their image being let but being put on videos that were are extremely inappropriate but at the same time they should think it's not all videos like that and I can't you know, I can't even defend YouTube really because YouTube has never really in my opinion put the proper effort and care to really know how to do something for example half the time when there's a copyright claim it's done by a robot it is filtered through in a robot or whatever takes part in that and it has gotten a little better with that case like because I've gotten replies within a day or two max if I put in a copyright claim so that part is getting better and one time I did lose kind of a battle it was kind of right in the I was kind of in the wrong so I will give them that so they did think through but there's still need to improve on that it's it's automatic it's automated what ads go where is what I what I think anyway like no human being no one human being can look through every single video that's uploaded there and say okay this that goes here oh that's inappropriate they won't want to be represented that way this goes there so I can see that and I could also see why those companies are worried because they don't know where their ads are being placed and right now anytime I go on to a video there is rarely now an ad an ad that is from a company I used to like I always love to listen to my music obviously on my iPhone and through YouTube I don't really download the songs I just listen to them from the site almost every single time for for a while up to now I every few songs 
I'd be hearing an ad. The subtitles every song, I'd be hearing an ad before I had to listen to it. Now, almost every song plays as soon as I push play. And that is sort of worrisome. Because it shows that there used to be certain, like, I, like I'm trying to think, I don't know every company that's withdrawn their ads. But I know, I know Walmart has. I know Starbucks, I think, has. I'm trying to think. Like, almost any big company you can think of did remove it from YouTube. So there was a point where I would still see, like, Maybelline and makeup product ads on, like, the videos. I'm thinking, well, maybe they're still, you know, doing something. But lately, I haven't seen them on there. So they probably, I'm not saying they, those makeup companies did remove their ads. Maybe they're just not as frequent. But from what I see, they probably did remove their ads as well. Like, the only ads lately I've really seen were the YouTube surveys. And I'm thinking, that that is not good. That is not good. I mean, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. <clears throat> okay, I don't always defend YouTube I mean, at all. Like, I definitely think they should get a little more, a few, one or two more human, co like, uh, contributors to filter out, like, the copyright claim thing. But when it comes to knowing when where ads are placed, that is really not their fault. Like, well, maybe it's the computer's fault that computer people on YouTube are... Okay, I know they're not people, but... But you kind of get my point. But it isn't really the whole brand of YouTube's fault, not knowing that an ad's going to be placed somewhere. And then I suppose... I suppose, like, maybe everyone, every company's doing this to be safe. But, come on... There's a lot of good for what there is bad. And the chances of it being landed on a bad, bad video, hopefully are very low. Okay, to be fair, videos like porn, for example, or anything like that, I don't think would be played. It would be blocked, I would hope. But, like, like very bad videos like that, I'd say are slim on YouTube. There's a lot of people who curse. I occasionally curse. Okay, maybe more than occasionally, but I don't offensively curse in the way using like FFF or like that. But yeah, I still do curse. A lot of people curse. And maybe people don't want to be branded by people who curse or talk inappropriately. So a fair game, but there's a lot of wholesome videos too. Like, honestly, I think the the companies have gone a little far, and not that I defend YouTube for everything they do, but this time I honestly think that the companies went went a little too cautious, and probably should have at least thought before removing videos or removing their support. I mean, as much as I have a love-hate sort of relationship with how YouTube has become, it has become a part of me. And I'm sure it's become a part of millions of people. Whether they use the site to relax during the day when they just feel that their day couldn't get worse, or they do something on YouTube, like I do, or... Whether, not only do they do something, but they make a huge profit from YouTube. Like, the Daily Bumps or the Shaytards, I know there's been a little controversy with them, but that that's just an example, right? Who <clears throat> make a living from this site. For me, it's more personal than it is profitable. Because, like, I literally, for the last four years have put myself out there on YouTube. And I kind of think of it as part of my memories, my life. And what I hope is that if YouTube ever does shut down, that they think of a way to spare half of these videos. Like, to still make it maybe playable. I mean, they say when it's out there, it's out there. 
Like, I worry whether it won't be out there. And I would love to still be able to see them. But, guys, I'm also reaching out to the companies if they see this. Ha ha ha, yeah, if they see this, the companies. Please. Please think. Like, think. Did we, uh, did we rationally remove our support? Because I'm not saying there are, as I said, I'm not saying there aren't bad videos. I'm not saying there's videos you want to associate yourself with. But just like anything, it's luck of the draw. Just like there's a million dollars in the lottery. There's a very low chance you'll get the biggest prize. Although, on your case, you probably wouldn't want to get the biggest prize. And maybe the chances are a little higher than a lottery to get a bad video. But, I mean, there have been, video, like, there have been unwholesome videos for years, guys. And just now you're removing your support or your ads? I mean, think. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I do have a lot in me, like, because... There's really, like, it's, it's getting bad. Like, if any of you are watching this, whether companies or people at all, like, if you're just regular people, try to make your voices heard about this situation. Like, even if you don't always have a big channel or whatever, just put your voice, make it heard that the companies are a little rash. And as I said, like, it's still somewhat justfully rash because as I said, I know they wouldn't want to tarnish their brand. And that, that part I do understand. But the chances of them always landing on a bad video are every maybe a thousand videos or more. And I know there's millions out there. But you're not always going to be placed on a horrible video. Sometimes you'll be placed on an appropriate video. From what I've seen, a lot of the ads have been placed on videos that kind of relate to them. Not always, but they sort of do it away. Like, anytime I go on the Daily Bumps, it's sort of family friendly. It's sort of like a family around the table, even if it's, it's, even if it's advertising like a food product. It kind of relates to a family or what family would be interested in. So... I think the only way you would be placed in a really bad, bad video would be if your company was really bad. Like, it is random, but at the same time, it's kind of relevant. Right? So, as I said, trust me, guys, anyone who's still having problems with the copyright thing, growl at YouTube. Growl at YouTube, but this is one area where I would kind of defend YouTube in even if it's only a teeny little bit. So, guys, if you're the companies, think again what you did. Think, is it worth it to stand your ground and leave YouTube completely? Or would you rather give them another chance and hope that the luck of the draw doesn't come to you and you still produce good a good thing? People who are watching this, Make your voices heard, whether through video or any way you could think of to contact the companies and say, think. Are you rashfully removing your support and try to get everything back? Let's try to keep YouTube on its front and hopefully for, for in years for it to improve. Because I know YouTube used to be a really great thing. And it could still be a great thing if it is given the chance and the proper attention. So guys, that was probably about the same length for a little bit shorter than usual. There won't be as many visuals. I'm just saying, as pretty much every company I know that used to be on there, I do not see anymore. So let's hope that if things will improve, that we have at least another good 10 years or more with YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next video.